Round three. I uh, guess we'll be on play. This will be a slow start for us. That damn creative behemoth keeps showing up in our hand. So we'll keep it because we do have a turn one play and we don't really like the mulligan. So there's that. Let's help you sprawl. Pay the green. Declare green, pass the turn. Oh, our opponent seems to be in high spirits here, so we're going to play that. Uh, we're going to surprise him here. So we got those two. I have the two floating mana, so I can play Nectos Float 4. No, I played I already played land. Fuck. Pass. Our opponent's commenting a little bit. Is he also on the devotion? Overgrowth. Maybe he's tooth and nail. I forgot to fetch at the end of his turn. Here's Nicholas. We have five devotion. Six seven. Do I have enough mana to cast Greater Hoot? I want to get some more creatures on the board first, so we're going to fetch out. I think we're going to stop around in shock. It's only five six. So now we have five. Yeah, we'll bounce this forest and we'll search for a primal titan. And then we go swinging. He's making three more mana. He's also going to make this. That's forest. There are our Kessig Wolf Run and Temple Garden. I think we actually just passed because we don't want to lose our devotion. We want to be able to cast Critter Booth.
I think we're in a mirror match. Maybe. I know Corsair Prefix sees some strategy in, in the Devotion plays. He could be doing Toolbox or Tooth and Nail, where we're going more of the next wave route. Yeah, he's conceding. That's fine. We're in a mirror. Go do that. I think that's all we need. Yeah. He's not gonna tell us. I'll just I'll just straight up tell him what I'm running. There are tip technically uh Let's see. The reason why I'm running there are four different builds. There is a toolbox build that will actually go as far as running card calling. It more, it's more of just a big man up toolbox green deck. Whereas uh, tooth and nail is pretty obvious. Make nine mana, drop a tooth and nail, get yourself an emerald coin, and then it goes in the swing. This is I don't know. We're not going to be really doing anything until turn 3, so I'm going to ship that. This is pretty damn good. It doesn't really matter. We'll put it on top. Just so we can draw it. See, but uh, we're going the Genesis Wave route, which is... More explosive. Basically, how it works is that uh, we operate on a much faster clock because we're going all in on the devotion more of just so we can get out. It's big mana, drop a Genesis wave, get a hell of a board state going. If he's doing tooth and nail, he's just going straight up big mana, and we're going to drop tooth and nail. So we're going to do that. Green two. Player Garuk. And tap these two lands. Uh, cast him off double green. And pass the turn. He's going to do another overgrowth. Six, seven, eight mana. No, just seven. Yeah. Okay. He's also going to search for a creature. What does he grab? 
This will be the most telling part. So we're going to be drawing a land next to area, which is not great. Yeah, he's tooth and nail. That's a one two, yeah. Hmm, we're gonna drop one split piece and we'll attack with the burning tree. Two Xenagoses? Oh, he had it in his hand. Okay. Oh! This is hard. I think we do the seal primordium. I think that's more important than. I think that's better than a sulky. We need our explosiveness just so we can keep up with them. Worship won't do us very good. Not, not at all. I don't think so. At least uh, we'll knock out a harmonize and hope we get a good opening hand. I would like to play first. I'm going to err on the side of keep. We're going to play a second over up.
Is he swinging us? Come on, buddy. Aww. So, green on tap. Green, level up. So now we have a lot more mana than he does. One, two, three, four, five mana. Six mana. Of course, he's probably going to catch right up to us. That's still not a land. It's more important that we get a primal titan, or more important that we get him off of this. This produces two, three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can combo next turn, so we have to respect his combo. Bounce the search. We have two primeval titans, so what we need here is not the third. I think we're just going to get another Arbor Elf. Attack in, see what happens. You gotta swing at us, okay. Hey! So here, we got a forest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That'll be generous to this wave for five. Green, untap it. Green, untap it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, this wave for five. Get a board state. Really? See, the problem with his deck is that he's got a little bit more inevitability than what we do. I think he can kill us this turn if he has a tooth and nail. That's another Seder. He does not have a tooth and nail. We're not dead. Do we go for the money?
Let's go for eight. Oh, we got a lot of lands. Okay, we finally won a game. So, whew, that took a 
bit of luck there.